Welcome back to my channel. Today you're joining me from my brand new garden studio. So excited, we moved house last week and I'm finally in my studio. There's lots to do in here but it's finally painted so I could kind of start unpacking and all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I'm painting a mural on one of my walls so I'll get to more information about that in a second if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and if you are new here then I post lots of crafty content on my channel from Cricut videos punch needle sewing I do lots of different videos beginner friendly ones and things like that so thank you for stopping by in this video I am focusing on painting a mural in my garden studio and I'm really excited. A mural is like essentially an art piece in your house or anywhere to be honest, you see them externally but a mural in this space is going to be something I create just to have a lovely wall of colour, like a feature wall and I'm hoping to do it in all of my branding colours, so like my online branding colours and it's just going to be something for me to look at, it's just a little happy part of my space and also great for photo backgrounds and things like that. So the plan of action is to make a start pretty much this week and what I'm going to do initially is do a paper version of what I want on the wall so I can kind of start to visualise it and I'm going to do a kind of mock-up imagining that this is the wall and to kind of draw on essentially what I like and if obviously first time it looks great brilliant um, if not I'll do a few trials of this and I'll start to see kind of how it comes together how it's looking before I go ahead and just put it on the wall just so I've got a vision so that's kind of what I'm going to do this is the first time I've ever painted a mural so you are joining the journey with me and hopefully we can learn some tips along the way and I can show you the process and by the end of this video hopefully you will be ready to paint a mural if, if that's why you're here or if you're just interested in the process and how it's going to look. Hopefully you can see this on the wall, it's in pencil so it is quite faint. So what we did, we marked the central point of the wall first and then we worked out based on my drawing that it was about 40 centimetres down that we wanted to start the sun. So then I could use a bit, use a pencil and do the circumference of the circle. Sorry if I'm out of breath by the way, I'm pregnant and I get out of breath super easily but um, there we go. So yeah, so there's the sun, and then what I did is, this was about, what did I say it was, four centimetres, um, another circumference we did, four centimetres, and this is where the sun rays will start, so I've just got the central point of the wall again, and I'm starting with those centre points first, um, and then going out with the tape, so yeah, hopefully it will look okay. <laughs> yeah, actually. So going from the out, this edge needs to go on the outer edge of that line. Is that enough? So when, okay cool, so I'll stick. Okay, I'm not going to stick it yet, but that's where the line would be. Yeah, go for it. Nice, oh it's hard to. the mural vlog today um, a few days after put this down a bit <laughs> it's been a few days since we myself and jazz my friend jazz um finished the taping of the wall so as you can see behind me i've got it all gridded out and planned it was a simple process it just if i'm honest with you the measurement side of things like anything to do with numbers or anything like that like really confuses me. Um, any fellow creatives will probably feel the same. So yeah, I found this side of things quite tricky. Um, also, I thought I'd show you as well while I'm here. So this was my original plan. And what happened is we ended up doing half, so like this half. And then, because once we'd popped that on the wall, like that half, we ended up just mirroring it so I mirrored it, so we just literally repeated the exact same measurements for this one, this one, this one, da, 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 all the way around. 
and I realised uh, it was like two less than this side because this was quite clustered up here so actually when I did it it ended up being less in terms of colours so I had to re-plan the colours to make sure that it looks uh, you know planned out and kind of even all the way around so this is the new colour plan um, so this is the exact style of the ones on the wall um, the exact amount of numbers of sun rays so hopefully that helps a little bit um, so that's kind of what we did I did this one and then we altered it and now this is my final plan in terms of colour scheme and then on the wall itself I've actually labelled the colours that I'm going to be painting in each ray almost like a paint by numbers so that I don't mess up and like colour the wrong one or colour like a gap rather than like the actual uh, part I need to paint um, so it's all gridded, it's all ready to go and super exciting Lick, the paint brand Lick have sent me some colours lovely samples that I got sent um, really 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 cool, absolutely love the colours and this brand, if you're not familiar, they are super environmentally friendly. They have recycled packaging, the tins can be recycled once they've been used, and it's just a really awesome brand, some really beautiful colours as well. So yeah, I'm excited to be using these in this video. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead. I've got one, two, three, four, five colours now. So yeah, really, really excited. I'm gonna get started on this. Uh, probably not today, I'm probably going to start painting um, on Wednesday. So I just thought I would show you guys the paints and yeah, and the colours and stuff like that. So here are the paint sample colours. We've got the pink 02, the yellow 03, blue 09, pink 05 and blue 08 and then I did get this purple 01 thinking it was going to be quite lilac but it's a lot darker so I'm literally just going for these ones. What's really cool about their sample um, instead of having like plastic wastage with their sample pots and stuff they're using these really cool like vinyl sheets and I did get a comment on Instagram someone saying well doesn't this produce more mess well, no, not really, because if you think of a sample pot, like, for example, I've got these ones, um, you not only use a tiny little bit and you've got this whole thing of paint left over that's just going to dry out and get wasted, whereas with these, you've got a really clean way of seeing the colour on the wall in different lights. You haven't got the mess, you haven't got the fuss, and the brand itself, every time they sell a tin of paint, they... Um, uh, they've got initi an initiative to take like plastic out of the oceans. I'll leave everything in the description box below so you can go and check out all of their um, you know, environmental values and things like that. For, it was a really good um, way of doing samples because it's less messy and not only that, if you're a crafter, if you do want to prevent waste even more, then I'm actually going to keep hold of these and use them for scrapbooking. So you can use these like little pages and cut shapes out of them and stuff like that. So if you really don't want to produce any waste, then that's what you can use them for. Scrapbooks, card making, you name it. So yeah, I'm going to keep hold of them and they're really great for sticking and re-sticking on the wall. So that blue 09 is going to be in my nursery. So when, once the room is plastered, I can literally just peel this off here and go put it up on the wall and then just check that we're happy with it. So yeah, moving on to the mural. Sorry if I'm a bit out of breath, by the way. Here are the lines. And if I go up a little bit closer, you'll see the circle in pencil. So this is obviously going to be yellow in the centre. And then we've got this gap. So any pencil that's obviously left over, I can rub it out. And I might even rub it out and do like a more gentle line. Um, and then I've labelled what colours are needed in each panel so yeah super excited and I will join you guys or share you with you guys when I've started the painting process so you can see it all come together today is a new day and I'm here and I'm ready to paint I'm going to start with the circle so 
I've just got the yellow O3 poured and in the tray. And I'm going to start off with some brushes for this because obviously it's a rounded shape, so it makes the most sense. Start off by doing the outline with this finished brush. I might even use one of my artist brushes like this one, just so that I can get a nice neat edge. Um, I'm tempted as well to clean off the wall as much as possible because um, the pencil is quite thick. So I'll get a rubber. I'm just gonna clean up this line so that it's faint. Obviously don't wanna take all of it off because I need to be able to see it, <laughs> um, but I want to take up, take off enough that there's not going to be any smudgy marks or um, pencil coming through the paint. So now I've done that, what can I use? I'm just going to use actually, I've got a bit of scrap fabric here, so I'm just going to get that rubber stuff off of the wall. Cool. So here it goes, first bit going on. is done I'm still waiting for a couple of the colors to dry but it's time for the bit I've been looking forward to which is peeling off the tape it's so satisfying right I go for this bit here I've got to clear that up don't worry <laughs> So here's the finished mural guys, I'm so happy with it. I hope you enjoyed seeing it all come together. And yeah, I just think it's worked out so well. I actually love the colours from Lick as well. I'll leave the link to their website in the description box so you can go and check them out for yourselves. I'm gonna have so much fun creating content in front of this and videos and all sorts. So. Yeah, it's a really great way to add a bit of personality to your space, whether that's a bedroom or a studio like this. Um, and now I just want to do one in every single room. <laughs> I'm definitely loving the colours though, they're so me and yeah, really pleased. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and seeing it all come together. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye!